Hi and welcome back to my channel. Just going to take a look at this uh, Class 60 that I got. And uh, I got it from Hattons for a brilliant price. Paid £124. This is uh, R3657. And its name is John Loudon McAdam. Not that my phone's in focus there. It is now. There it is there. Right, I need to open it up and check there's no cracks in the corners and give it a test run to make sure it works okay. Well, I'll be back in a second. It does come with a little detailing pack. It's got other snow plows in there. It's got the couplings for the front. It's got air pipes. Well, I won't be fitting these things to it. I think they just get in the way half the time. Are we going to run it as a model? If you're using it just as a static display, fair enough. But run it as a model, they just get in the way. And I've checked it all and there's no cracks in the corners. That's the first thing I did when I got it out of its box. Let's check it straight away. You get the normal documentation with it. Shows you how to fit your snow plows and uh, the couplings in the name pockets, plus the brake pipes. How to take the uh, body off. These eight little clips along the body there. You just put little bits of card in there, you slot them in, then you gently, gently prise it open with your hands there and the body comes off. And that's the lubrication points on the axles. And there's a lubrication point there on the motor gearing. And there's a day-night time switch. For your head and tail lights. And uh, shows you where to put the speaker and uh, the chip. And we're going to fit DCC and DCC sound. I found when I did my Cola 60 that you had to cut the lugs off the speaker because they, uh, they didn't quite fit in properly. No normal guarantee warranty there. Let's see if it runs on the track now. Just going to test it actually works now. This uh, Hornby Class 60 that I got from uh, Athens. As you can see, it's got working front and tail lights. It's very smooth as well. And this is in DC. Little bit of engine noise from the motor. Like I say, it's not been run in, it's just out of the box.
I'll just move the camera a little bit to the side. Yeah, it's good. Good locomotive this, and especially that uh, it's not cracked. I gave it a good old check out when I first got it to make sure there's no cracks in it. After my last fiasco with the uh, the sixty, I had at least I got my money back there. Sent it back to the shop. There's no arguments at all. They just gave me my money back. I would prefer the uh, loco. To be in good nick and working. Well, that was £149.99. Basically 150 quid I paid for that. Well this one I paid £124. Which is a pure bargain at uh, Hatton's. You've still got more on... Uh, on the shelves so uh, if I was you if you're after a 60 go and get this one hi and welcome back to my channel this is the Hornby class 60 that I got from Hatton's and it only cost 124 pound And I've checked it all over for cracks and there's no cracks there. So that's brilliant. These do come with sprung buffers. It's got a snow plow fitted as well. Very close to the rails of the snowplow. As you can see, you can see through these grills. Go straight through. You can see my finger on the other side. John Loudon McAdam Road Hall sixty zero seven zero I'm going to take a quick look at my Hornby R3657 Load Haul Class 60. It's 60070. 
John Loudon McAdam. Got this from Hattons. Bargain price. £124. I'll get a DCC uh, sound chip for it. TTS one. And uh, they retail for about £40. can see through these grills which is really good there's cab detail inside not sure if these doors open They are sprung a wee bit, but I'm not going to force them. Don't want to break them. Because they are quite fragile. And then if I uh, opened it and it stayed open, I'd have to take the uh, the body off to reclose them. It's just a bit of a gimmick that uh, Hornby have done to these, putting these doors that uh, spring open. I say the... Uh, the fit in them isn't very good. So there's not a lot of clearance, so they get stuck. Get window wipers with them. Come with sprung buffers. Handrails, lamp irons, snow plough, you get two grills on this side and one on the other side. You see the detail around the windows there? It's like riveting plates that they've put on. Can anyone tell me what this is on top of the horns on one side of the loco? Because the other side doesn't have it, is it? To me it might be uh, a little solar panel maybe for working electrics. For the horns, maybe. Because the other side, it doesn't have it at all. It's just the horn straight. So if anyone knows what that is, if they could leave a comment at the bottom of the video, I'd much appreciate it. Because I did wonder what it was on my Colas 60. But nobody's answered me at all. I think about the paintwork isn't very good there. In the cor corner of the window. But it's because the uh, camera picks it up. I know it's not cracked. And it's got work in the front and tail lights as well on this model. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you can do the uh, the bell icon, 
you get notifications of any videos I do post up. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, all your comments are most welcome and they're always answered. Okay, until the next video, everyone take care. Bye for now.